You're gonna what? I can't, I can't hear anything you're saying. Ha! <laughs> ha! Ah! Ha! Ah! Ah! No? Oh! Oh! This is gonna end up on the morning news programs, right? Ah! Ah! <laughs> is Agamemnon Tiberius Vacuum, and I am 127 years old. What's up? Obviously, I think I should be elected president of Earth, and then somehow utilize this position to become an oppressive dictator. Uh, friendly. <clears throat> World leader. It's ridiculous, first of all, to think that anything interesting ever happened in a state of temperatures below the incineration temperature of the human body. Combustible. I mean, really. Look at, look at my hand, for instance. My hand is... Fit, first of all. <laughs> Let me start again. Cold fusion is definitely not something you will ever see on Planet 3, because we believe in violent, superheated reactions. It's part of our religion, part of our culture, and it's part of the process that we use to incinerate and vaporize our enemies and criminals and undesirables and, well, disharmonious individuals. <laughs> ah. Are you going to bring some of those cookies over here? <laughs> ah, no! Uh, the goggles on Planet 3 are completely necessary uh, because, first of all, our atmosphere is not unlike yours. It is comprised of things like oxygen and argon and uh, carbon dioxide. Uh, all of these are very caustic compounds and chemicals that react negatively with our eyes. <laughs> As you already know, the people of Planet 3 breathe through their eyes. So what the goggles do is they pump a steady supply of sarin gas into my eye sockets, which is not what I actually breathe and is also quite toxic to my lungs. But luckily, the people of Planet 3 don't breathe through their lungs, they breathe through their pancreases. And Sarin gas is also quite toxic to the pancreas. <coughs> Moving on! <laughs>